everybody. It's Dr. Turncross Roll again. Today, we are going to be applying the skill of counting in fives to counting nickels. Are you ready? This is the Bahamian nickel. I want you to look very closely at this coin. The Bahamian nickel is silver. On the face of the nickel, there is our Bahamas coat of arms. At the back of the nickel, there's a picture of a pineapple. If you look very closely at the nickel, it tells you its value. The value of a nickel is five cents. So when we count nickels, we count in fives. When we count nickels, we count in fives. So do you remember how to count in fives? Five. 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100. But when we're counting money, we'll count 5 cents, 10 cents, 15 cents. 25 cents, 30 cents, 35 cents, 40 cents, 45 cents, 50 cents, 60 cents, 65 cents, 70 cents, 75 cents, 80 cents, 85 cents, 90 cents, 95 cents, and one dollar. We have to match each of these coins to their values. Do you remember what I said the five cent looks like? Well, the five cent coin is this one, of course, because the five cent coin has a picture of a pineapple. Do you see it? This one is also a five cent piece. Do you see the picture of the pineapple again? Now, can we buy the candy, the lollipop, or the toffee? If you said we can buy the lollipop, you are one smart cookie. Do you remember that a five cents is also called a nickel, but we want to call it a nickel more often than not. And we also want to remember that a nickel's value is five cents. Do you got that? Let's go. Now your job is to count this group of nickels. Remember, when we count nickels, we count in fives. I'm gonna give you a minute to count these three coins, but you have to count in fives. Go ahead, get it done. I'm back. Did you count the group of nickels? Did you get the answer 15 cents? Well, if you counted in fives like this, five, 10, 
15, you should have gotten the value of 15 cents. Remember, when we count nickels, we count in fives. But the most important thing to remember when we're writing money values is to write the symbol. Do you notice the cent symbol is a C with a slanted line going through it? Well, whenever you write the value of a coin, you have to make sure that the cent symbol comes to the end. All right, Smarty Pants, let's keep it moving. I want you to think about this one. How many nickels will make 25 cents? So that means then you have to put on your thinking cap and turn on the wheels in your mind. But I want to help to guide your thinking. Are you ready for my help? Well, since counting in fives, is what we need to do to count nickels. Then we are going to have to count in fives until we get to 25. So because we don't have nickels, let's use our fingers. Are you ready? We're gonna pretend that each one of our fingers are nickels. We're gonna keep counting until we get to 25. But we're skip counting in fives because when we count nickels, we count in fives. Super counters, are you ready? Well, here we go. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25. How many fingers do you see? Hold that thought. Look at your fingers again, and let's see how many nickels it would take to make 25 cents. There we go. We have one, two, three, four, five nickels. And if you counted along with me correctly, you should be looking at one, two, three, four, five fingers. Let's keep on moving, Smarty Pants. We're going to count each group of coins. Each stack has nickels in them. So our job is going to be to count each stack of nickels to find how many there are in each group or to find the value of each group. Are you ready, super counters? Let's do them all together. When we count nickels, we count in fives. When we count nickels, we count in fives. Five, 10, 15, 20. So the first one should be 20 cents. 20. Cents. Remember when we write cents, we write a C with a line going through it. Very good. So let's go over now to the next stack of coins. Are you ready, super counters? Five, 10, 15. So the next stack of coins then has 15. Cents. Remember how we write cents? A C with a line going through? Cool. Let's go down to this stack. When we count nickels, remember, we're counting in fives. So here we go. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. So, the value of this stack of coins is 30 cents. See, with a line going through it means cents. 
And our last group of coins has a value of 5, 10, 15, 20, 25 cents. So 20, 5 cents is a C with a line going through. Did you get that? Well, let's see if we're... Well, we certainly are correct because as you can see, our values are Twenty cents, fifteen cents, thirty cents, and twenty five cents. Great job, Smart Cookie. Well, our lesson today was pretty quick, but there are some things that I really need you to remember. When we count in fives, we count every fifth number. A nickel is five cents. And when we count nickels, we count in fives. You have to remember that instead of counting each and every nickel as one, two, three, you would skip count in fives saying five, 10, 15, 20, 25 cents. Don't forget what the cent symbol looks like. A C. With a line going through it. Did you get that? I'm glad. Well, guys, we've come to the end of our lesson for today. I'm happy to have you. And I hope you're having fun with me. I'll see you soon.